In this video, I'm going to show you how to work the VGA simulator I made. It's very useful for debugging any VHDL projects. Uh, it's not specific to VHDL, but I made it with that in mind. Of course, you can use Verilog if you can uh, log some HSync, VSync, and RGB with your test benches or whatever. I haven't used Ver Verilog though. Alright, so I may also made a blog post to help get started with the tool. Uh, you can follow the setup guide on how to get started but I'm just going to show you how to do it quickly so first thing you do is add the use statement for std as textio.all um, so just open up one of your test benches and add that to your use statements at the top I added mine right here and then also you need to add a, the process that logs to the file when you're running the test bench um, just some simple textio uh, statements, write statements and so just copy that into your test bench and then make sure this clock in the sensitivity list is a clock that is synchronized to the pixel clock that you're generating the VGA signal from. It can oversample or be the pixel clock that you're using. And the file, the log file that'll be written to is write.txt by default. And you'll find that in the the same file as your test bench or where your executable um, simulator is going to be. So after you've added that those two things, uh, just make sure that your clock period is good. I'm using a 50 megahertz clock, so I set mine to 20 nanoseconds. You can figure that out by doing 1 divided by your clock frequency, so 1 divided by 50 million is 20 nanoseconds. After that, you just simulate the behavior model, which will open up iSim and begin the logging process. Alright, now that ISIM is opened up, I'm going to change my uh, time window to one second, do the restart, and run for the specified amount of time. I'm not going to run for the full one second, I'm just going to do like three frames, but I like to set my time window large in case I want to go longer than I expect. So all I'm looking for is three VSync uh, pulses. There's one, that's the start of the first frame. And these are the three text modules that are being generated. I'm using this FPVGA text uh, library module that I made before. It just makes it really easy to add text uh, to a VGA screen. And I have a link to the VGA simulator here if you just want to go to the, the GitHub page. There's the second VSync pulse. And there's the third VSync pulse. So I'm just going to wait for the third line to generate and then I'm going to pause it. And then I'll be done with this. So now we're done. Pause it. You can just exit this. And we're done with ISIM, so you can exit. Now you want to move over to the tool. And you want to browse for that file that was written. It's write.txt by default. So all you have to do is press submit, and it'll start generating the frames. Uh, the back porch X is just how you translate it back and forth on the X direction, and the Y is to translate it up and down. And the back porch is just the amount of pixel clock cycles from the rising edge of the sync pulses. So that if your H sync is pulsed, it t it'll t have 48 clock cycles before you start drawing on, on the canvas. Make sure you set your pixel clock rate as what you've actually simulated. So I put 25 megahertz because I use a divide by two on my 50 megahertz clock. And as you can see, the working it's almost done. It's generating the second frame and the partial of the third frame. After this is done, you can click these and review and save them even with this download current frame link. All right, it's done. So now you can click back and forth between the frames and just save them. You can save a partial frame, whatever. Download current frame, and it'll bring up a download window, and you can just save that out. and then open it up and it'll be a perfect PNG uh, replica of what you have there. The alternative to using the simulator is to generate the bit file and synthesize map, place and route. This whole uh, 
process and this takes a long time for even this simple text project about 10 minutes or more uh, this is mainly because Xilinx only utilizes a single core and simulating is just much faster even though it does take a bit if you have any suggestions please feel free to contact me I hope this tool gets some good use see ya